help support your Tucson Terrakions in the UCL and pick up a t-shirt today. Link is on the screen and in the description. Good YouTube, and everybody to you're back again on once again. It's April today, you're back for episode number nine of our Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock here on the channel. And last episode, you guys, we went through Ilex Forest, saw a few kinky things that I don't think we we're supposed to see, and made our way here to Goldenrod City. In today's episode, you guys, we're gonna do some exploration in Goldenrod City, and we're gonna actually head back to the Slowpoke Well because in the last episode, a certain champion of the Sinnoh region gave us an odd keystone, and that will give us a new static encounter to swap out for an egg. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Storm Silver, and of course if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if this episode can break 5,000 likes, because Monday's episode already did, then the next episode on Friday will be an hour of power! And it'll be our third time doing an hour-long episode in the series. So if you'd like to show your support, you already know how to do so. But let's get a quick party update for you guys, because our party is trying different not from last episode but just in general because we had a lot of new things happen but either way we have our modest nature quasimodo the hunt tail rocking water pulse confused ray body slam and bite holding the leftovers nice and mixed we have our modest nature blitz the joe town holding the life orb to do a, just a little bit more damage which is working out because as of right now we're modest nature with all physical moves and we're gonna have a single stab because we're rocking yawn quick attack bite and tackle we should get shockwave sometime soon but up next we have our timid nature kek the I almost said Kek the Kekleon. Kek, I got shiny map quest on the brain. Kek, our ghastly, holding the King's Rod because he's super fast and maybe we'll get a flinch. He's rocking Sidewave, will o -Wisp, Ominous Wind, and Hypnosis. Up next, we have our Adamant Nature Terror. The I want to say Torterra. I'm just, I just dyslexia of the mouth has followed me in today's episode. Terror, our Grotto, level 23, holding the leftovers with Sea Bomb, Curse, Superpower, and Body Slam. And then last but not least, we have Ted, hashtag Ted Outsped, holding the choice band, adamant nature so he can hit like a truck with double edge crunch, close combat, and cut, which is a grass type move in this game, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have figured out by now. So, I don't know what order I actually want to kind of sort of do this in. Matter of fact, I think we're going to do, uh, no, it, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to lead with Blitz because I want Blitz to get Shockwave. I want to explore Goldenrod City because there's a lot of things that can be here, especially here in the department store, and I think there might be a chance for us to get quite a few mons to uh, swap out for eggs but what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and head back head back head back head back head back head back oh hello 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 he's the best in his class at motherfucking Pokemon god damn it oh god did I hit it did I hit him with the on he said he's seismic tossing us can you stop seismic tossing us please I don't want to have to use all my potions right now karate chop did the yawn miss Okay, maybe it wasn't a good idea to lead. <laughs> maybe it wasn't a good idea to lead with Jolteon. And he's making swaps! It don't make a difference though, because you a poison type bitch, you can catch this psychic type move, nigga. You think you smart or some shit? God, Sideway, why can't you do more? Come on, just do more! Ominous win! King's Rock, get the flinch! Come on! Come on! JK, we're just knock him out, I don't give a fuck. Kek, you can come through, Kek, Kek, come through, Kek, 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 come through, Kek, 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 come through, Kek, 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 come through. So, I don't know, I'm in a, I'm in a weird mood right now. I actually kind of, sort of, I have, I have so many things I need to do today. I need to run to the bank and do a few other things before uh, it gets too late. So, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm being kind of responsible because, like, I'm recording to make sure that we have content up on the channel. But at the same time, am I being responsible because I have other responsibilities that I need to take care of? No, I'm not adding you. No, no, no. No one gets my goddamn number. So it's like, am I being responsible or am I prioritizing one responsibility over another? I wonder. But I wanted to battle these two specifically because I skipped them in the last episode to get up here because it took us forever to get through Ilex Forest and I really don't know why. And I just want you to get Shockwave. That's all I want. Takedown. Oh god, that hurt. I don't know if we'll do enough with Bite next. I don't know if we'll do enough with bite, and that scares me. Oh, of course you use the poison type move. Oh, you fuck. Body slam. Him. Yes. Terror outsped. Ted outsped. Terror outsped. Skip plume. Ah. Uh, 
Ah, I didn't mean to go for side wave. Fuck. Okay, everyone's missing. Ominous the wind. The wind is so ominous. Ominous it up. Ominous it up. Ominous. I'm. 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 Ominous it up. Ominous. I'm. 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 Ominous it up. Okay. I don't know what's wrong. Like, hold on. Hold on one second, you guys. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm just like in such an odd mood today. No, you can't have my number. Why does everybody want my fucking phone number? I'm in such an odd mood today. I don't know what's up. To be honest, did I battle you? I don't know what's up. Like, I'm just in such an odd mood where it's just like... Everything is just... What? Bish, what? I don't understand what's going on. Is he getting it? He's throwing shockwave! Okay, we're getting ready to tackle. Quick attack will keep for the, 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 the priority. Bite has at least uh, typing, and yawn we can put niggas to sleep because we're super fast. As long as it doesn't miss like I did before. But we have Shockwave, finally. No, all three of these niggas on this route wanted my goddamn phone number. No, fuck off. Okay, so he's got that. I think what I'm going to shoot for next, I'm going to shoot for Kek to evolve. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's either 24 or 25. Pretty sure that's when he evolves. You see, I feel like we should have just explored Goldenrod City right now because we have to come back anyways. And we got to take the test or the quiz to see if we can get them on there. We got so much to do in Goldenrod City. My goal is to clear out Goldenrod City today so that in Friday's episode, we, we don't have to worry about anything else. We just go in there and take on the goddamn gym. If we can clear stuff out soon enough in here, then we'll take we'll at least start the gym in today's episode. But I don't know. It's just, oh, goddamn. I, goddamn, just go straight. Goddamn. Go straight down. I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to clear stuff up, cause like we gotta go all the way back to Slowpoke Well, and then there's those people that are gonna say, "Oh, well, you could have just waited until you got um, until you got uh, what you call it, until you got Fly." Yeah, well, you know how long it's gonna take for us to get Fly before we go back? We could swap that Spirit Tomb out for something crazy. You don't know? We could swap that Spirit Tomb out for something insane, like a Pikachu, like a God Slayer Pikachu. And it would just clutch our entire team. I mean, you guys remember how we did that one extra swap before Violet City Gym? And we were able to, to pull out uh, 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 Sabriel. May she rest in peace, Sabriel. <laughs> it's too soon. It's just too soon. Ted, cut the tree down, Ted. Please just cut the tree down. Just cut the tree down. It's kind of fucked, though. They make you come all the way back here. You know, they could have gave us the odd keystone, you know, before we actually had to go all the way through here and all the way back. Because, get God damn, now we're back in the time. I thought we were done with this place and we'd never be back. But you know what I need to do before we go over here? Like any good trainer does, we only have nine Pokeballs. Oh, my God. Let's see. Can we get some uh, Pokeballs? Can we stay Pokeball in them hoes? 11 should be more than enough for what we want to do. We got a Premier Ball. Ooh. I'm going to scoop up three. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me get eight. Eight of them niggas. Hi. Right, so we should be good. We should be good. We should be good. I don't know exactly how we're supposed to use the odd keystone on the well. Um. Do we just use it here? Oh, we do. I, yo, I didn't even realize that you could walk up to the back of the well. Holy shit! I didn't know you could, you could do that! I didn't know that was a thing! I thought you had to go all the way around! Okay, do you want to throw the odd keystone into the well? Toss it in. Hey, Chang Chang, get him paid up. What is that? What is that? Now, hats off to Drayano because the fact that you can. Um, whatchamacallit, I don't really like this because you're a dark type. The fact that you can, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Spirit Tomb in Slowpoke Well, like, that's so perfect. Like, where else in the Johto region would you put Spirit Tomb? That's so awesome. I love that. I love that shit. I love that shit. Should we go out to Ted and hit him with a Choice Banded Double Edge? Faint Attack, that would have hurt. That hurt us just now. Please, stop with the- STOP IT! I'M NOT THAT bulky. HEY, ASSHOLE! There we go. Yo, I'm putting to sleep. Alright, so all I'm gonna do is... Gotta use a super potion. Gotta use a super potion. A regular potion wouldn't do the job. It would not get the job done. So let's get you uh, all leveled up there. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, spirit too. I bet she's trying to shadow sneak us too. I don't really appreciate that. I really don't. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh! 
That did a lot. My goodness. Okay, so if he's gonna hit us with uh, Shadow Stinks and whatnot, I'm gonna swap out to our most bulky Mon. And you know what? You can have the Premier Ball. Go ahead, Mr. Spirit Tomb. Catch yourself, motherfucking Premier Ball. Let's go. Stay in that ball. Stay in that ball. Stay in that ball. Hey, Jang Jang getting paid over here. Jang Jang getting paid over here. Thursday, let me bring it over here. Thursday, let me bring it over here. I told you, I'm in such a weird mood right now. We just finished streaming Shiny Mat Quest and all this other craziness, and I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm going. Joey, what the fuck is up, Joey? Yo, Nappy, motherfucking howdy. It's Joey, how are you, man? Oh yeah, I saw a wild beetle and I broke his fucking kneecaps with my Louisville Slugger. I thought about going for it, but then I failed. Oh well, I guess that's just the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. And then he hangs up. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine Youngster Joey with his thick Brooklyn accent or his thick, um, uh, yeah, Brooklyn accent? He just call like he calls you and you're just like, "Hello, hey, how the fuck you doing?" And like he just screams at you the entire time and then hangs up. Like, like, it's just such a one-sided conversation. I, that's what I feel every time Joey calls me. And it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop off our hardy-natured spirit tomb here. He is a static encounter, so we can go ahead and scoop him up, scoop him up, scoop him up. And that makes three. We had two from the last episode we need to swap out for eggs. Who do we have? Who are the other two? Is it Ilex Forest and the Root After? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we actually need to go up to Goldenrod City. I wish I bought repels. That face when you wish you'd bought repels. That face when you wish you'd bought repels. I just want to get. Ah, 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 ah. This is right next to the, the the kinky spot. Stop it! Stop it! No, no, no! You're not far enough away yet. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, so we can get up to Goldenrod City now, and we can do some exploration because if I remember correctly. The bicycle shop is no longer there. It's no longer a thing. It's no longer a thing, and I think we can get some fossils from there as well. The radio tower in Goldenrod City is a landmark. They're running a promotional campaign right now. They'll modify your Poke Gear so it can also serve as a radio. So let's go ahead and uh, knock knock hello up in this bitch. Because I feel like there are people here that will give us something. I feel like there are people here that will give us something. Who are you? She's raring to shop again today. I want to go in here and see if there's anyone that gives us something because I feel like we get like a shell bell in here or something like that. I want to check out the TMs that they have as well because I don't remember what Drano replaced. Hey, hey, did you know they sell some evolution stones here now? Hey, hey, I want you to fuck out my face, bitch. Act like I gave a fuck about an icky buff. So they sell. Ooh, look at all of this. Yo, do you sell super repels? Oh. Holy shit, they do sell stones. God damn. Oh, uh, look, yo, these are 500 a piece? Okay, I think we'll wait until we're rolling in the dough just a bit more. Just a bit more. So they sell hyper and max potions here? Jesus. Jesus Christ, the white devil has cussed Elon. That's insane. Okay, let's try this again. Do you sell TMs? You don't sell TMs. Sorry. I'm not interested in all that. I just want to see. I just want to see. I just I just want to see. I just want to see. I just I just want to see. What about you? You sell the vitamins? You sell vitamins. Oh, and they're expensive as shit. Can you just give me an item? Can you just give me an item? That's all I want you to do. That's all I want you to do. What about you? What do you sell? TM17 enables the user to evade all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it's used in succession. That sounds like protect. TM20, the user creates a protective field that prevents status problems like poison, paralysis, burn, and sleep. What is that? Safeguard, I think? TM54, a restrained attack that prevents the foe from feigning. The target is left at least 1 HP. That is false swipe. We use that in Shining Map Quest. TM55, the foe's HP is down to under half. This attack will hit with double the power. That sounds like brine. If we had a water type, I'd love to slap that on him. A wondrous wall of light is put up to suppress damage from special attacks for five turns. Light screen. A wondrous wall of light is put up to suppress damage from physical attacks for five turns. And reflect. TM22, a two turn attack. The user gathers light and blasts the bundle beam on the second turn. Solar beam. The user attacks at full power. Also, may lose its use of special defense stat if it hits. 52. It may also lower the foe's special defense that if it hits. So the user attacks at full power? That sounds like... Is that hyper beam? No, because it would say you need to recharge. What is CM52? 
Chance Bolt, that's Fire Blast. That's, uh... Thunder. <laughs> that's Blizzard. Powerful Beam, that's Hyper Beam. What the fuck is this? 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 The user attacks at full power. It may also lower the foe's special defense stat if it hits. I don't know what that is. Full power? I feel like that's obvious, I'm just not getting it. User burrows, that's dig. Team 20 is dig. User snares the foe with the grass and trips it. Ooh, grass knot. User user lands and rests its body, that's roost. So they do have some interesting TMs here, if I do say so myself. And on Sundays, homegirl comes and does shit. I collect Pokemon, do you have a Noctowl? Wanna trade it for my Torkoal? Nah, nigga! Ain't nobody interested in your foreskin like that, calm down. Calm down. Do I listen to the radio? I don't have... I don't have that shit. The must try... Daily Drawing Corner. You can try for 300 and have a wonderful prize. Would you like to try it? FUCK IT! Alright, please draw one. Wow, you got yourself the number three prize! Please take it! I just paid $300 for a berry. I just paid $300 for a berry. Now, if that ain't the most expensive berry that I've ever- Oh, we can go down to the basement? If that is not the most expensive berry that I've ever fucking seen in my whole goddamn life. Hey, my choke, moving containers. And we got a free Ultra Ball off of that. Yo, look at the- Oh, that's behind. Oh, we'll, we'll be back here later. Yeah, move that container, bitch. I think you're supposed to come down here right now for this. Because you can't get this later. Oh, who the fuck is that? A burn here. Who are you? Huh! I've been found! Here, I've been by Kleto's awesome teleportation abilities! Oh, snap! I've never seen this in a Dreyano game before! I knew about it, but I didn't remember- I've never- I knew about it, but I'd never actually gone and done it because it's been so long since I played Dreyano. So this dude, his clay all will teleport you, and if you have a Rotom, this is how you change its forms. So there's Rotom Heat, it's a microwave oven, it has an odd-shaped motor on it. And then there's Rotom Fan, there's Rotom Fridge, there's Rotom Wash, and Rotom Cut. That's how you change Rotom's forms. There is a mysterious notebook here, its age is impossible to tell. It was by pure chance that I obtained information about the Pokemon Rotom. Remarkably, Rotom has the ability to enter and merge with special motors. It's known that Rotom can stay inside a motor almost indefinitely. However, it will emerge if it enters a union room or a Wi-Fi club. Rotom will also emerge from the motor if it's left at the daycare. Rotom may also forget certain moves when it leaves a motor. This Pokemon requires exhaustive observation and analysis to ensure I get all the credit my Rotom research must be kept secret. They will come to observe me as the scientific genius Kerr. The rest of the notebook is blank. Char? Is that Charon? I don't know who, I don't know who that could be. I don't know who that is. Looks like a merciful thief. So is that it? Can we go back down there and, and like... Is it possible for us to go back? I'm pretty sure. They only give you just one chance to go there. Is it just one chance? No, he's there again. Okay. I was about to say, that would be so fucked if we only had one chance to get one Rotom floor and we just screwed it up by discovering where it was at. Giggity goddamn. But yo, that's sick as hell they included that in the game. That is sick as hell they included that in the game. So let me go in here and let me scoop up, uh, whatchamacallit. Let me scoop up our prize mon. The way we get from Clown Boy here. Well, hello there, trainer. Would you like to take a quiz? Yes! Excellent, let's get started. Question one. Is it true that Giovanni owns a level 54 Nido Queen in yellow? How the fuck am I supposed Yes. No, it's not. No. I, I'm supposed to remember what level his mons are in yellow. Come on, okay. So we have no! I'm gonna say 54 sounded really high. Question number two. Can Pikachu learn surf within Pokemon Yellow? No. No, he can't. Correct the semi-final question. Can Magmar learn overheat and fire at leaf green? I'm gonna say yes. Answer is no to all of them. Oh wait, is it true that Nidorina and Nido Queen cannot breed? Yes. That I did know for a fact because it's like, what? They're the females. How can they not breed? 
You can now pick a prize Pokemon. Which one are we going to get? You know what? We're going to scoop up Turtwig just because we have Terror in the goddamn party. That's our good luck right there. Terror in the goddamn party already. We're not giving him a nickname. Quizmasters, nigga. Quizmasters. So that's another Mon for us to go ahead and swap out for an egg. Yo, we about to have one crazy ass egg hatching. One crazy ass egg hatching. What about y'all? Bond is better than brain! Try this team out and I bet you'll agree! I'm telling y'all, you need to check everything in a Pokemon game, especially Drayano, because he gives you so much shit. So I'm guessing she's gonna give us Calm Mind. There we go. So we got Calm Mind and Bulk Up. Oh Jesus. Oh gee oh Jesus. We're changing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh oh god. Okay, we back. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. So here we are, we gotta come back sometime once Bill is here. And you know there are people that say that this is actually uh, Valerie from 6th Gen. My big brother Bill made the Pokemon storage system. They say that Valerie is Bill's sister. It's like a Pokey theory or some shit like that. And I'm like, alrighty then. Alrighty then. Wait, wait, god damn it. Oh shit. No! Hi Nappy, you're just in time! I think it's time that we had a friendly battle. Are you ready? Fuck no! No! I want to explore Garden Rod, not have a friendly battle, Lyra. You bitch. JK. I'm, see, I, I, you know, I talked about this in the last episode. I'm starting to get really, really bad with that. Lyra's not a bitch. I apologize. She's not a bitch. I'm just upset. I'm upset that you want to battle me so many times. Thunder. I was gonna say it's not stab, so it can't do that much. But could you not thunder us, please and thank you? That would be really appreciated. All right, thunder us again. Thunder us again. I told y'all it's like a Wi-Fi battle on this bitch. Holy shit! They went for Blizzard. Body slam him. Oh my god! We can level Blizzard. It's not stab. It's not stab. I don't care if it's super effective. It's not stab. We live in. We live in. We live in. Eat this, bitch. Eat this, bitch. Oh god. Oh, and the paralysis came through! The paralysis came. Oh, you fucking lemonade drinking whore! Okay, we gotta play the paralysis. We gotta play the paralysis. No, you know what? I'm not playing no goddamn paralysis. Shit, the body slam didn't do enough. What are we gonna do? 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 Ah! Super potion. I'm gonna play it safe. Oh, she missed. Body slam. Body slam. Max damage. Max damage. Like, shit. Oh, we juking, we vibing, we juking, we vibing. See by the hope, 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 see by the hope. Okay, so the need arena with Blizzard and Thunder is dead. God damn, I was not ready for this. I wanted to finish exploring. Nine Tails. Well, obviously we need to switch. Um, Nine Tails is going to be scary because I feel like it's gonna have Solar Beam. I feel like it's gonna have Solar Beam. Or like grass knot or something. So I don't know if I should go out to Ted and try and one shot with double edge, or if we should just. I'm just gonna go out to Quasimodo. I'm just gonna go out to Quasimodo. If she's got a grass type move on her nine tails, then it's gonna be an issue. It's gonna be a problem. She's higher level than we are. Flamethrower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, the sun's out, isn't it? Oh, she doesn't have a drought nine tails. Never mind. She doesn't. Can we get the confusion? Confusion? Hey! Chain Chain getting paid over here. Chain Chain getting paid over here. Thursday, baby, bring it over here. Thursday, baby, bring Oh, you stop that! Jesus! Oh, she's got Roselia. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. Water Pulse is goddamn Roserade. Not Roserade, Roselia. Can we get the confusion? No confusion. Okay, so we have a problem. Cause like, what am I supposed to do against this man? What the fuck am I supposed to do against this man? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I don't know. If only we had a flying type still on our team, that would help. Grass not LOL! Ted super light! I still did more than I expected, but you know what, Ted? Do the damn thing! Late scene missed! Ted! Knock him out! You are the stapler to their paper! Fuck him up! Yeah, Ted, my good Ted. Ah, ah, Ted, yeah, yeah, Ted. 
All right, Meryl. Meryl? Meryl, I'm gonna need you to catch this to work, nigga. I'm gonna need you to catch this to work, nigga. All right, so here comes Meryl. I feel like she's gonna swap. Oh, she didn't swap. Well, Meryl, bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Meryl. Meryl's not living that goddamn sea bomb. Bitch, you need to stay following around. To keep your ass out of battle. God damn it. All right, so all she has left is a nine tail. So her team is actually a little bit scarier than I expected. Quasimodo, I need you to come through and handle this. Now you are... Now, oh, oh, how did it go? You already know, though. Quasimodo. Okay, Quasimodo, water pulse. Quasimodo, oh, you can do you can do that all you want. We're not going to try and do any status ailments or nothing on your ass. I just need you to catch this water pulse. Don't heal. Please don't be that person. That's going to put you back in there. It's gonna be, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's just like a Wi-Fi battle against them, because like we're holding, we got special whole items and everything. Flamethrower, eat it ah, eat it ah. This might actually have been a problem if this was a Drought Nine Tails, because that flamethrower would be doing a lot more damage, and Water Pulse would be doing a lot less damage. But Nine Tails has crazy special defense. Well, I wouldn't say crazy, but decent special defense, and which is really surprising because you wouldn't think that this fox would have that much special defense, but it does. It does, nigga, it does. Okay. She didn't even pay us! That was fun! Oh, when you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop! That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures! By the way, here's the fashion case! Do you want it? I know it! It's a present from me! I don't really want the fashion case. I stepped in here on accident, as a matter of fact. I was gonna do the underground last, since it's the underground. Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going! See you! Jesus Christ, what? You were just here! Why are you calling me? Hello, this is Lyra, how are you? Speaking of Route 44! Nobody was speaking of Route 44! It's such a cold place! I feel bad for the Pokemon that are sensitive to cold, but I bet that Ice-Side Pokemon fell right at home! What the f- she's, she's bipolar! She's stupid! She's crazy! She doesn't know what she's doing! She doesn't know what she's saying! She walks in and she's speaking of Route 44! Oh my god. My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy my coin game. In fact, that's what I live for. You look like quite a challenger. Why don't you play my coin game? You can get a fabulous prize if you manage to collect a lot of coins. Sign me up. All right, here's your coin case. Okay. I'm gonna play right now. Show me how you play it. My heart will pound with excitement. Oh, I gotta sit across from you? My bad. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Play vo- oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Flip the cards and collect coins. Holy shit. Uh, game info. Which set of info? How to play! Voltorb Flip is a game in which flip- in which you flip over cards to find numbers hidden beneath them. The cards are hiding the numbers 1 through 3, and Voltorb as well. First number you flip over will give you that many coins. From then on, the number you will- you find will multiply the total amount of coins you collected by that number. If it's a 2, then your total will be multiplied by 2. If it's a 3, then your total will be multiplied by 3. But if you flip over Voltorb, it's game over. When that happens, you'll lose all the coins you collected in the current game. If you select quit, you'll withdraw from the game. If you get a difficult spot, you might want to end the game early. Once you've found all the hidden 2 and 3 cards, you've cleared the game. Once you've flipped over all the cards, you'll advance to the next level. As you move up in levels, you'll be able to receive more coins. Do your best! Hint. The numbers on the side of the board give you a clue about the numbers hidden in the backs of the panels. The larger the number, the more likely it is that there are many large numbers hidden in that row or column. In the same way, you can tell how many volts are hidden in the row or column. Consider the hidden number totals and the volts are totals carefully as you flip over the panels. Okay, let's try it. Let's play it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is a hint. So, according to this, there's zero Voltorb here. So, if I go here, that should be a good spot, right? We receive one coin. And so now I'm gonna multiply it, right? Oh, one times one. Oh, uh, there's a chance. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Okay, wait, it changed now. There's one Voltorb in this row. Uh. Ah! Oh god. Ah, this is so terrifying! Ah! Oh, they said there's zero. There, okay, they said there's zero Voltorbs in this row, so this shouldn't be a Voltorb. There we go. So we cleared that out. That's not a Voltorb. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
So there's one Voltorb in this row, and it's either this one or this one. We know that much. But apparently, according to this, there's three in this row. There's one in this row, and there's zero here. So this should not be a Voltorb. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. This should not be a Voltorb. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Actually, no, we can just flip all these over, because we're no we know they're not Voltorbs in each of these rows. We know they're not Voltorbs. Okay, so we're good there. We're good there, we're good there, we're good there. So there's one Voltorb in this row going vertical. Oh god. Oh god, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. There's one Voltorb in this row. There's two across the top here. I'm gonna flip this one. Okay, so that's a Voltorb, we know for sure, because there's one in this row, and that's a Voltorb. We know that for sure. Okay, so there's one Voltorb in this row, and there's one Voltorb going across here. So I'm going to flip this, and let's see. Why should it be the exact same Voltorb? Oh, Jesus, don't be the... Ah! It's not Voltorb! Ah! 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 Okay, so the one Voltorb in this row vertically is either in this top lane or in this bottom lane. We know that for sure. Well, no shit. Okay. So if we flip this, and it's not a Voltorb, then we know that Voltorb is here, and we know that these three are Voltorb. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. Oh my god, it's nerve-wracking. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna YOLO it. I'm gonna YOLO it. I'm gonna take this one. No! Fuck! Did he show us? No! The one on the bottom was a three! Oh, the one on the bottom was a three. I should have gone for that. Fuck. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time. I know we're running along in this episode, and we didn't get a whole lot of progress done. But you know what? We've been exploring, and I've been having fun, and I just that's that's the whole point of let's playing. Okay. So we have zero in this row, so we can just flip all of these over. Three coins. So we have zero Voltorb in this row. So we know that. We know that. We know that. We have zero Voltorb in that row. We have zero in this row as well. So we can flip this over. And that tells you the total number of points. Okay, that makes sense. Because it's three plus four ones, it's seven. And there's five ones across here for a five, total of five. Okay, so there's one Voltorb in each of these three rows going horizontal. And there's one Voltorb, there's one Voltorb in this row as well. I'm gonna flip it. Ah! I'm gonna flip it. Ugh! I'm gonna flip it! Ah! So this is a Voltorb. We know that for sure because going vertically, going vertically, it says that there's one Voltorb in this row. So that's a Voltorb. Never flip it. That means these three. Oh no, that, that does not. That's not what it means. So uh, of the three Voltorb in this row horizontally, one of them's right here in the bottom right. So two of these are Voltorb and one of them isn't. I feel like this one is a Voltorb. I feel like that's a Voltorb. So. I gotta figure out which one of these two is not a Voltorb. The only reason I say it is because three of these vertically are Voltorbs. So it's just a higher chance that it'll be this out of these three. Okay, I'm gonna flip this. Just ruin that. Okay, we're gonna quit. We're gonna quit. We're done with Voltorb flip. Coin flip, young. Fuck all of you. Can you just, can you just, I'm not buying coins from you. Ludicolo, 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 Ludicolo. Spinda just spoke. Spinda just said hello and welcome to Spinda Cafe. You think I didn't see that? Wait, what did that say? Smeargle Tangela Porygon. Oh my god. Technical machine. Oh my goodness. This is where you get flamethrower, ice beam, and thunderbolt in the game? God damn. How much does 4,000 coins cost? 40k. So basically you have to pay $40,000 for any of those TMs. Jesus Christ. Okay, well you guys, we cleared out about half of Goldenrod City. Like I said, there's a lot in, in Goldenrod City. It's the biggest city in the region, of course. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pass the scram? And of course we have the uh, Union, the Global Terminal, which we can't do anything with. Uh, on a ROM, so there's no point in us even being down here. So we've cleared out quite a bit of uh, what we can explore here in Goldenrod City. I, f I feel like a couple of you guys are like scratching your head watching this like, what the hell is Nappy gonna do in Goldenrod City? Hello, Sunny. Did you know that there are some items that only affect special Pokemon in battle? If you can show me one of those Pokemon, I'll give you their item. That Gatsley. I have no item that will help it. That'll help a Pokemon in battle? 
There are some items that can affect only specific Pokemon in battle. What does that mean? That affect a specific Pokemon in battle. Does it mean like a light ball? I'm sure a Pikachu or something? Pikachu! 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 Okay, so let me go ahead and, um... I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here, because inside of Le Fossil Shop here, because like I said, it's not a bike shop. Inside, I feel like we're gonna have the opportunity to gain a few new uh, mons that we can swap for eggs. So on Friday, we're gonna finish our exploration of Goldenrod City, which shouldn't be much longer as we clear out most of it today. And uh, then we're going to swap out a lot of eggs, and if we have enough time, take on the Goldenrod City Gym. But I'm feeling pretty confident that if we smash today's like goal of 5,000 likes, and we have an hour of power, an hour of time to work with on Friday, we'll more than absolutely smash everything we wanna do and clear out Goldenrod City and be able to move forward with our adventures. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Storm Silver, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is going greatly appreciate it but with that i'm gonna get up out of here thank you all once again for your support and thank you for checking out the video you don't need to do that one 82 uh,